Michael Schumacher made the jump from sports cars to Formula One at the 1991 Belgian Grand Prix and took the world's breath away. The emerald green Jordan 191 was the machine in which history was to be made. At its wheel, the most successful driver the sport had ever known made his debut and made his mark. One team and one driver ruled the roost in Formula One during the mid-1990s. The Benetton Ford B194 was, at times, unstoppable. It would take victory in seven of the first ten races to establish the foundation upon which the team was to taste its first championship glory. Its successor, the Benetton Renault B195, was even better and demolished the field to bring the German his second crown and Benetton its first and only ever world championship. It romped to 11 victories, nine of which were taken by Schumacher. In 2000, Ferrari gave Michael Schumacher the car which would begin a previously unthinkable run of championship success. The F1 2000. A car which would, over the 17 races that year, deliver 10 pole positions, 10 race victories, and crucially, Ferrari's first Drivers' World Championship since 1979. The Ferrari F2004 delivered Michael Schumacher his seventh Formula One World Championship and confirmed him as the single most successful driver in F1 history. The car would finish on the podium at every single one of the 17 races, winning 15 of them. At the wheel of this achingly beautiful and crushingly fast car, the depth of Michael Schumacher's legacy became undeniable.